Morning, campers. <laughs> well, as you can see, I am fully clothed. I have my fleecy, my down jacket on. I have my toque on. I have my gloves on. Um, my feet are like blocks of ice. Because <laughs> they're still warming up, but they're going to get warmed up pretty soon here. My uh, hands are like blocks of ice, but I know they're going to get warmed up soon. And my water bottles were frozen this morning. Because that's how cold it was last night. And I mean, I, I think this is just a sign of things to come, to be perfectly honest. So uh, I'll just show so you. So you can see there, see how the water's all frozen in my water bottles. That's how cold it was last night. And I, I felt it, but I mean, I was relatively warm in my sleeping bag. I, I was relatively warm in my sleeping bag. I put my toque on later on because I knew I was getting cold, you know, it's getting a little chilly. I could have put my fleecy on, but I, I like to... I like to put things on in the morning to keep me warm, to keep the heat that I've, that I had in my sleeping bag and try and retain that. So that's why I don't, I try and sleep with the least amount I can and then put all my clothes on in the morning and then I'm warm. So anyway, that's the story there. So we're going to get going here. Uh, don't know where we're going to end up, but, uh, We'll go as far as we can and we'll just, uh, and I'm sure things will get warmer and I'm going to have to have a drying out party because my tent was totally frosted. Like I had my headlamp on. You could see all the ice on the inside the tent from me breathing, which is cold weather tenting, right? That's, that's kind of how it works. I've gone, I've gone, uh, winter camping in Canada, me and my son and, and, uh, that's exactly what happens. So, but anyway, we'll get going here. We'll get warmed up and, uh, we're going to have a good day. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, so guys, I just came across these, I think the llamas. There's one there. That guy over there, he's just heard me. And then there's another one. Right there, see him? Yeah, they've shared me now. I guess maybe there's a camp up here or something. I'll check it out. See, that's a hunter's camp there. They got their big tent set up. They might be here all month. Or they might be an outfitter. And they're using the llamas to carry their stuff up. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really nice spot up, spot up here. Look at that. It's nice in the sunlight, warming up. So as you can see, I'm warming up. Got my puffy off now, just got the fleecy on. So that's good. And, uh, just gonna check the map here and make sure I'm going the right way and keep on trucking. Talk to you later. Check this out, guys. That's pretty cool, I think. I'm pretty, up pretty high. I got a little ways to go, but look at those big mountains in the background there. Just poking through the mist. That's nice. Well, guys. We're getting views today. A little hazy on this side, but still pretty nice, I think. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm seeing. And then the trail goes down this way. And then on this side, I kind of saw that before, but here's another view. Less hay is just in the distance there. Nice. Nice. I'll just show you this, guys. This is the view. So I came from way down there. And I'll tell you what, since I left for lunch, after lunch, it's been uphill the whole way. Oh, and you'll never guess who I met. Book. I actually met him this morning. He was like, oh, 
maybe three or four hundred yards from me. Um, never had any idea. But anyway, yeah, I saw him. And then he came up at lunchtime. And we're still going up. I'm hoping that that pole is the top. But you never know. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Hey, guys. So I should probably tell you what I did there at lunchtime. So, I just thought about it after I was done talking to you. So what I did was, I stopped at the stream. Uh, because the next water source is 12 miles. So I stopped at the stream and loaded up with water and I dried out all my gear. And then just as I was packing up, that's when Book came along. So he was sort of asking me how far I was going. I said, well, depends on the terrain. Well, we didn't do three miles an hour with all that uphill, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, I'll have to wait and see, but we're thinking maybe we'll camp at the water source. The next thing I got to start thinking about is Buck, uh, sorry, Book was telling me, is this park, this national park, I think it's Rocky something national park, because seemingly Book was saying I need a permit to walk through it. So I'm going to have to try and check on that. And seemingly you can order one online, you can... But we'll have to have a look at that sometime here. But in the meantime, I think I'm at the top. So uh, we will, and then I think it's downhill. Sounds like it's going to be like that. <laughs> up, down, up, down. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Hopefully you guys can see that. See, Colorado's not all hills. It's all flat down there. And then the mountains in the background and then this is what I'm seeing right in front of me here which I thought was pretty cool and just to give you an idea how high I am I'm at 11,450 feet right here where I'm standing if I really like that okay talk to you later hey guys so here we are 12,292 feet above sea level and we're at this I think it's a weather station um, I'm not sure the door's open but there's some equipment inside but really it's just an empty cement box they got an antenna here but it seems to be collapsed so yeah probably because of the wind but yeah, this is it. So you can probably see there's Book. He caught up to me. So I don't know if you guys remember. He's coming up there. Remember I was, I came up over and I said, oh, look at that view with the cliff face. Well, the, this is where I am. I'm on top of it. And this is what you see from the top. And, uh, yeah, it was quite a climb. It was quite a climb coming up here. That's for sure. But, yeah, I have a feeling that this, I guess it could have been a fire for a fire bucket, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you can see the ridge there. Sorry, that was a bit fast, but. Yeah, this. Yeah, it's got like four antennas on it. It's got that big antenna that's collapsed. And it's not too windy, which is nice. That's what she looks like up here, guys. I think that's pretty cool. You can imagine all the snow and everything that just probably avalanches down there. This is just a little further on. I'm heading along the trail. Along this way.
pretty, pretty special. So hopefully you guys can see this, but over there where those trees are in the kind of flat spot is, that's where I was. That's where I was up there when I said I was at 12, I think it was at 11,450, something like that. And then I came along there, along that ridge, down, and then up this spine here. Up that spine right there. And then to the top, where the lookout is. That's where I came from. Now we're seeing it from this side. Okay guys, talk to you later. Check this out guys. <clears throat> I think that's pretty cool. Interesting the way those rocks are stacked up like somebody put them that way. Yeah. Hi guys. So, give you a quick recap from yesterday. What's that? Oh, I'm just talking to the YouTube, Bach. No, no, that's okay, no worries. As you can tell, me and Bach were, but sorry, Book. I don't know why. Me and Book were camping together. So, what happened was, when I we left that uh, lookout, fire lookout, whatever it was, weather station, um, I left, and then uh, Book caught up to me. And we were kind of talking, we've been talking about, we were talking about the water source and where we were going to camp. And we got to, basically, we crossed the road in a parking lot. And we noticed that there was there was some uh, camping spots down there. And I had a little bit of water, which I managed to squeeze out my supper and my breakfast this morning. The oatmeal was not exactly hydrated, but it was, it was okay. So anyway, and... Uh, so me and Book camped together here, and uh, yeah, we had a pretty good night. It wasn't too bad. We're next to the highway, but it actually wasn't too busy. I heard it a few times, big trucks, but it was pretty good. And it was uh, 20 miles for the day. And considering the uphills that we had, you know, I, I thought that was pretty good, actually. But as you can tell, it's still a little chilly this morning, which I think is going to be the norm. Uh, but that's okay. I'll get used to it. It's a little easier than yesterday, that's for sure. So anyway, just want to say uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys had a good day. Hope you had a good night. We certainly had a good night. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, that was it for yesterday. <laughs> okay. And it's uh good night for me, even though it's the morning. Because I would have done that. I just run out of daylight. That's the trouble. So good night, guys.